Oh my god, Bessie, weren't you the one that wanted me to play this? <laughs> anyway, hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Friday. This is a little... For some reason... Uh, for some reason, uh, OBS doesn't like to save the zoom setting for my camera, and I don't know why. Hey, Rask, what's up? All I did was link it to... Fine, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Cancel. It's it's canceled. We're, gonna, we're just going to do redo all night. Fine. Fine. Be that way. See if I care. <laughs> anyway. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just, I'm messing, it's Vesti. I'm messing with Vesti. I'm allowed to do that. He's been around long enough. Hey, Bacon Copter. So yeah, um, I'll keep, I'll try to keep the preamble short tonight. Um, we just got a ton of shit to play. <laughs> I got, because Vesti was such a kind and wonderful soul, he linked me to uh, the Kickstarter announcement for Chicory. A colorful tale. I emailed the developers and they're like, yeah, totally, check out the demo, yay! Um, because they're cool people. So we're gonna check out the demo tonight. We're gonna play the whole thing, however long it is, we're gonna play the whole thing. Um, and then also, it's, so it's gonna, it's not gonna be out for a while. They're running a Kickstarter right now and this is it if you wanna back it, if what you see tonight is awesome, um, which I'm hoping it is. They've already beaten their goal, so they're, you know, they're well on their way, but I'm sure they got stretch goals and other stuff, and they can always use the money. Indie devs can always use the money, we know that. Um, we'll check that out. After this, we're gonna do Redo, which is a really neat, creepy looking platformer uh, that some of y'all were talking about. When we're done with that, we should, I'm gonna leave enough time, probably from like 10.30 to 11 to do Kids which is a short narrative game from the creators of Plug and Play. Never actually played Plug and Play. Um, I watched somebody else play it. I got a pretty good chunk of the experience from that, I think. <coughs> and then for the last hour, we'll probably go back to uh, some spooky origins, spooky games origins games. Uh, some stuff that I'm going to revisit. Might do some creepy platformers, might do some terrible adventure games, might do a really neat first person shooter that I haven't played and you probably haven't played in ages. So, but for now, Chicory. Howdy, pleads. What's up, buddy? Uh, let me actually bring the game back up. That'd be helpful. Okay, here we go. You're just in time. We are starting Chicory, a colorful tale demo. <coughs> What's your favorite food? I was not expecting to be hit with this. Uh, my life is dumpster, but this rye is good. Let's play some games. Hell yes. It's not, I'm not, bit, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> it's up fancy my leaves. No, I have an answer. I have an answer. We had really good fish tacos tonight. So I'm going to do fish tacos and it's perfect. It fills up exactly the 10 slots we have for text, so. Yeah, they were super good. There's this place called uh, Baja California that's like right up the street here in Los Angeles. It's so good. Why'd I do that? I am sure. I'm a very, I'm an absolutely certain pe person about this. Again, fish, tacos. My hand's getting ahead of me. <laughs> Bestie. All right. Magic paintbrush. It's every stroke fills our world with color. Naturally, someone has to wield it. 
the brush has been passed down through the ages. Let me... Bloop. There we go. With the current wielder, Chicory. She's so cool! A total genius. Our world's never looked better thanks to her. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Let me be honest for a second here. That's why it's up to me to keep her tower clean. Aw. Oh my god. Ah, look at us. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so move with left stick. Right stick. Yeah, let's dust. Hell yes. Let's fix this. This taco truck's in LA, yeah. yeah they are magic. Only non-Taco Bell Mexican in your rest, uh, in your neighborhood is atrocious. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, when I used to live out east in uh, North... In Terabang? When I used to live out east in North Carolina, we didn't have many options. We had a f we had a few decent restaurants, but they were still like more Tex-Mex than ac than like authentic Mexican. I mean, like here you get it, you get it straight from the source. My uh, my office did a catered lunch a couple weeks back with a like a taco truck, and they were actually they were making the tortillas there to order. Like they just they just had a big bin of dough. And you'd come up and you'd order your tacos, and they would just press them right there. It was so good. Crazy. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Presumably, everything is fine. I've done a lot of cleaning in games lately, I realize. I had to clean up that shitty house in Pamali. Which apparently I didn't do a very good job of, because Ghost still fucking hated me. Uh-oh. Oh no! All of, all of Chicory's colors! I must have cleaned it. Nah, that's, that didn't happen. I gotta go tell her. Well, I, I mean, hang on. Hang on a sec, because there's still some... You left some spots, and you don't want to... I mean, if you really think you clean too hard, you might as well go for broke here. Okay, that's pretty decent. Oh, oh, we can we can clean the walls too. Just just broom the hell out of these walls. There we go, much better. Much better. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> what? So satisfying. I'm glad I actually got something for doing that. Hey, I heard big bin of dough and thought you were talking about me. <laughs> Your room looks filthy. Yeah, but what about the game? I have a really good Indian restaurant. Ooh, yeah, Indian food is fantastic. Everyone, Wielder Tower. Everyone should have access to a good Indian restaurant. Of course, we have, we have several here. This was just colored in. Ooh, yeah, this portrait. It's Almond, the classic Wielder. One of the first to really share a personality in her coloring. <coughs> After her, Wielder's styles became much more diverse. You have to respect her legacy. This one, I think this one is Carrot. He was okay. Really experimental. Uh, even at the time, I don't think he was very popular. It says some fans still. It's too indie. They just didn't get him. This one, wait. I gotta stop procrastinating. Okay, that's cute. I like that. Oh, look at the little stick mouse. Yeah, we don't get the prompts anymore. That's funny. Is this chicory over here? It looks pretty severe. What's this doing out here? Chicory! Chicory! <laughs> I called it. It's locked. <gasps> Everyone must be panicking. She left her brush just lying there. Yeah, do it. Do it. What if? Yeah. Yeah! Oh, he's so cute. I love it. Finally moved back to a place with Ethiopia. I need to have it soon. I, I don't remember if I've, if I've even had Ethiopian before. Oh my god, that face. That face is so good. <gasps> you got the brush! I got it! Ooh. Can I... 
I made myself blue! I blew myself! I mean, we can just kinda... Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is exactly what we need to be doing. Oh, it might, uh... Okay. Okay, close enough. <laughs> nice try, not a red one. Nice try. Luncheon! Is your town seriously called Luncheon? Supper Woods this way. That's where Blackberry lives, the wielder before Chicory, a living legend. Maybe she knows what's going on. I should check on the townspeople, too. What do you think? Should we go see the last one, or should we... There we go. Much better. Should we, should we check the last painter, or should we check the townspeople? Go outside the lines here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of impressionist. <coughs> some junk over here. <gasps> I got some litter! Sweet. There's a couple ways to go here. Where do I go down? Not much going on here. I can sit. I can sit! It's like all I really wanted. Alright, let's go see... Look. This is Pickle! Oh hey, fish tacos! Is that the brush? Did you steal it? <laughs> Lol, whatevs. <laughs> I bet you didn't even know. To use the right button to chant. Yeah! Shit. <laughs> Pickle, you are alright. You wanna be you wanna be kind of like a pea green? There you go. You look good. Um, let's see, let's make your house a kinda Yeah, that looks good. That's nice. Yeah, purple. Purple on the roof. Yep. This looks good. This looks good. Perfect. It's amazing. Murder for a fish taco right now? Yeah, dude, I had him for dinner. So good. What's it like wielding the brush? I bet it's really cool. It's really cool. Oh yeah. I'm jealous. Can I try it? Sure. Uh, sure. OMG. He drew himself! Oh, that's cute! It's me! <laughs> nice, Pickle. Chicker would never, ever, ever let me touch a brush. But it was super fun. Thank you, Lol. Do you like my drawing? Yeah! Hell yes! <laughs> Thank you. Maybe I should be the next wielder. Wink. I like Pickle. Pickle's my buddy. Hey, Toast! What's up? What's going on? Uh-oh. Lemon looks extremely concerned. Uh, hello, fish tacos. My, my name is my favorite to my favorite food. I am fish tacos. <laughs> Okami looks different than I remember. Someday, man, y'all gonna jump on me for this. Someday I'm gonna play Okami. I bought it. I bought it like a year ago for like seven or eight bucks and I haven't gotten around to it. I think I lost color suddenly. What's going on? Hey, Obsol. <sighs> Glad to know I'll be grape someday. Play Okami nerd. You make a compelling argument. Why do you have Chicory's brush? It feels like something hor is horribly wrong. Well, if you have the brush, can you call it? Yes! Have you like, really? Okay, um. Oh! Left button is different sizes. Good thing I accidentally touched that. Uh, what color do you want to be? How about we make you. Yeah, you can be green. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna make the main part of your house green. Uh, okay, that's a bit too big. And then I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the windows blue. And then I'm gonna make your roof salmon. Yeah, I think this is good. That is super good. Oh, uh, thank you, but I'm sorry. Can you erase it a bit? The left trigger do that. I'll tell you when to stop erase. Why? You don't. You don't like it? What's 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 the problem? What's the problem, Lemon? Lemon? Do you do you not appreciate the work that I'm doing here? Lemon? Oh my God. She's like, I'll tell you when to stop erasing. 
That wasn't how I liked it before. You can color it again if you want. I'd really like you to color it differently. Let's make... Let's make your entire house purple. Do it however you like. No, not like that. <laughs> to hell with you, Lemon. <laughs> Alright, your entire house is going to be purple. Deal with it. A really messy purple, too. It tries... So this is kind of cool. It tries to keep you in the lines, but you can push over it. There you go. Look at that. Oh, are you done then? That's... That's fine. It's just so different for how Chicory did it. Thanks. Wow. Fuck you, Lemon. Uh, Supper Woods this way. Oh, I can't. I can't even. What's everyone's opinion on the original Robocop? It's awesome. It's a classic. <coughs> the only number I have memorized is my parents. So I guess I can call them. They always know what to do when I'm lost or stuck. The best. Call home. Oh, it's a it's like a hint line. Oh, okay. We'll call we'll call mom and dad later. Uh it's locked. Oh, wait just a second. Holy moly. Rang a bit late today. Shoot, I even forgot to get dressed. Better press start change what Nice. Big security robot was wildly impractical to be in an office tower. I mean, I guess he just had to take the freight elevator was the thing. There's gonna be dress up. Cola. Zucchini. Oats. Man, I'm lucky to be fish tacos. Robocop 2 for NES is an amazing showcase of spiteful game design. I played- I think I played the first Robocop on NES. You didn't- you didn't have to collect any nuke. I- I think that was Robocop 2. <coughs> See, Chicory lent you the brush. And then wasn't there a third one where you had to fight ninjas and shit? One of your favorite action movies. Undoubtedly very silly, that's part of it. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing is kind of- it's- it's kind of satire of corporate culture, yeah? <coughs> and, like, the- the excesses of, like, like, 90s me culture, and... That's interesting. I was just thinking your shirt design was stale. Wanna dress with you? Yes! Yeah! Hell yes! Let's do it. Everyone will be excited a new wielder did it. Just do whatever you want. I can design a t-shirt! Okay. Okay, um... Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I have access? Okay, I don't have access to different colors. Okay, this is the smallest one on your truck penis holding a gun. I could tr hang on. Let's see if I can do it. That actually worked pretty well. <laughs> I got, that's not half bad. Pretty, I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, I definitely got the important parts. No, not. I, I want to. I want to. I'm done. Wow, it looks great. I can't let you leave without taking one. <laughs> Wear it now. Oh no. It's just 
yeah, it, it's perspective. It, it's more of a like you know, it's my own it's my own personal take on it. So it's kind of like a perspective shot, more from like the up, upper, yeah. Working. Oh, different font. I mean, I noticed. I noticed that uh, pickle had like a really thick font. It's calling you dick in an ass. Probably someone else. Oats. Fashion's a way to show this is who I am. And when it's really sublime, it says this is what the world is right now. What is the world right now? Dick butt. A beanie and a pocket jacket. That's the outfit I'm looking for right now. You can show it to me. I'll give you something cool. I, I can sit with oats. What's up, oats? Anything, anything else cool in here? Man, the art, the art in this is really good. Like, I love this style. It's so cute. Puccini. Yeah, the music's good, too. It's Pumpernickel. What's up? Chicory thought you were worthy of the brush. Mm -hmm. Well, they simply aren't good as you, they used to be. I miss the days of Blackberry. Hey! Chicory is an amazing wielder. Well, if you like that sort of thing. But Blackberry lives just to the southeast in this upper woods. You should go meet her. You know what you should do? You should be pink. Macaroon! Oi! My house ain't got colors no more. Fix it! Give some tough colors. <laughs> You got it. Tough colors all night. Chop chop. What? Uh, what? That's some toxic masculinity bullshit right here. All right, you're getting blue. You're getting sky fucking blue everywhere. And your tree too. Deal with it. And you. You get to be blue. Oi! Those colors. They're so tough. I love them. You really did a bang up job. I gotta thank you. I got a brim cap. Wear it! Yeah! Hope you love that hat. As much as I love the tough colors. Thanks again. Alright, okay. That worked out. This is working out. This is good. It's Fish Taco's house! It's my house! Uh, I guess it's fairly... sparse. I mean, the Tower Queen's always been priority one. Nope. I love fish tacos. I love fish taco, buddy. Imagine thinking teal is a tougher color than pink. Can I? <gasps> I can paint him. Hang on, can we? Oh, I can paint this shirt. Okay, that's fine. Give We'll give our dick butt shirt a nice uh, fleshy tone. That should be fine. This is great. Holy moly, check out this guy's house. Hey, what was that? What was that? Hey! I want this to be green. Hey! Dickhead. Lost kid. I found a lost kid. Cool. I solved a puzzle using my colors. And yes, I did want to see if I could whack myself in the face with a rake. Basil. Or basil. Hello, hello, fish tacos. Care for a small gardening tip? Some flowers bloom when in color, but others bloom only when blank. If you wish to erase a colored one, you can use the left trigger. So, like... Ah, yeah, I made them bloom. Those didn't. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, Raz! Thanks for subscribing for six months! Really appreciate it. And now you get to enjoy your pretty blue gem. Oh, I found more garbage. More junk, give it. Hmm, that's interesting. When do you get to that cave? Yeah, hopefully you can unlock more colors. P. How do you do, fish tacos? Chicory gave you the brush! Have you developed your style yet? There are so many ways to color. 
I know what mine would be. I'd use the left button to make my brush huge and color everything super fast. That's definitely the best style. Hmm. I think I'd use the LB button to make my brush smaller. And right stick click to zoom in so I can take my time adding small details. No, that's wrong. That's a horrible style. <laughs> I love you, P. <laughs> P, you're awesome. Um, okay, so let's get, and then, oh, you can really zoom in. So you can be like, nee, nee. You can be like, Cool. Because P is cool. That's toxic masculinity. <laughs> P sucks, you're wrong. <laughs> Look, you gotta you got be tough and assertive in this world to get anywhere. Speaking of which, let's get somewhere. Alright, I wanna go this way. Um. Oh! Okay. So that happened. I see a present. I see a wiggly tree. Give me that. I want it. Give it. Give it. How do I make you give? Um. Come on, you. Get here. Do you like green better? interesting. Oh, neat. Oh, it wraps. No, it doesn't. I lied. <laughs> That's not how perspective works here. Hmm, okay. Hey, I know you. Uh, how the hell do I get to you? Yum Cave. You can sell both of Oh, come on. Really? Really, 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 really. Oh, cause elevated. Oh, 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 oh. I was totally reading that different. Come on. Look at that. Okay. Ah, he's green now. I know the last kid. Gift. Oh, I got a beanie. Wear it. This cool beanie. Um. Let's make it uh ba 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 purple. I like being blue. Being blue is fun. Oh, and I can get across there, too. Oh, look at that. Hmm? Oh, I have some more garbage. <gasps> neat. That's really neat. Doesn't seem to do much, but... What's this? What's this? <gasps> Gift! Oh my goodness! I got a stripey tea. Uh, we're gonna store that. Thanks for the stripey tea, but I, I have, I have what I need right here. Okay, so then we can do that. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Here we go. There you are. Did Chicka give you that brush? Y yeah. <laughs> So it's worse than I thought. You don't seem ready. I hope I'm wrong. Come this way. Considering wearing my three-piece suit and bowler hat to my first day of classes, they definitely definitely want to make the right impression. I bet. Wait. 
I have new colors. The colors are determined by your location. So now I have like warm autumny colors. That's cool. Oh my god. I blew it. <laughs> Blorp. Flurp. <laughs> okay. Oh, present. Present get. Uh, bloop. 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 It. I got a flower dress. Oh, I bet so pretty, but I'm still gonna store it. Alright. Let's. Oh, I bet I can make this really pretty. Orange. Yellow. Yeah, there we go. What? Oh no, I have to get down this way. Alright, well, this one can be this color. Explore it. Let's see here. Oh, I see some litter. This is really cool. I like this. More litter. Okay. Um. Be orange. You be yellow. And you be orange again. Fear if I let everyone know I'm eccentric right away, they won't be surprised by this weirdness later. Yeah. Definitely sets the tone. Where's this go? Okay, that chucks me back down. Cool. Okay. Um. The orange. Okay. Orange. Oh, and then I need to uh, put you back. Oh, I missed this one right here. That one accidentally got colored. That's cool. <laughs> the perspective threw that one off. I had a bow. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, wait, I can make this a different color now that we're in a different part of the world. Um, I want an orange bow. Excellent. More like a boo. Yeah, yeah. There you are. You little rascal, you. Um, can I not? It's so interesting. Ha! Here you go. Boo-loo! Okay. Any cool stuff around here? Wow, I actually made it look kind of correct. Wow, you can do some really cool stuff here. You make this really pretty. Um, let's see, let's do that. here. I bet I don't. I bet I lied. Like up there. Hmm. Now that was interesting. creepy ass looking cave over there. Yeah, so you must be able to get over to it from us. That's weird. 
Maybe some pretty colors? No? Okay. Hmm. What's this place all about? Stand on the mushroom you colored in. Yeah, to the side. Good idea, though. Definitely a good idea. <laughs> yeah, if that if that worked, then I'd be able to use this to just pop right up, I would think. Blorp. Oh, I got a scarf. I got a scarf. All right, well, I guess it's into the spooky, spooky cave. Oh, it's Yum Cave again. Oh, we got more colors. Oh, we got magenta now. That's exciting. Color lighting, that's cool. Well, okay, I guess I'm not going this way. I guess we'll go this way. Uh, this is really creepy. Uh, okay. It resists my attempts to paint it. Okay, I can still paint in here. That's fine. This particular area will be orange as hell. It's creepy though. Hmm. Okay, what is this all about? I finally made it. I had to find some presents. This is what I want to show you. Never seen anything like it. If Chickory thinks you deserve the brush, it's your responsibility to face it. We're like, oh shit. What exactly is going on? What happened to my apprentice's colors? And where is she? Uh, you might want to. You shouldn't be here. Let's go. No, stop it. I stick my paintbrush in your eyeball. Yo, hello. Okay. Okay, this is super cool. Oh. oh. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this either. No! That's not ideal. Oh, maybe I can maybe I can race them when they do that. No, it seem not. Seem to not be the case. Okay. Okay, it's after. After they use their beam attacks. Okay, okay. Go! Oh. Okay. Yeah, I can't erase that. As much as I'd like to. As much as I'd like to delete you. Here you go. Bring it! What you got, Lucky Blue? Oh no! Ow! Oh, we're very sad now! No, other way, other way, other way, other way. Okay. Whoa. 
Only for 20 minutes you're fighting Krakow. Hey, your bond with the brush is powered up. That's cool. Your paint will, ooh, your paint will now glow in dark places. It's kind of Zelda-y. You gain new abilities, or it would. But that's the end of the demo. Oh no. Thank you for playing, exclamation points. It means, oh. I did. Me too. Ooh. If you want to help our tiny team make this. Okay, so this is a Kickstarter demo. Hey, Dirkus, what's up, buddy? Uh, this is a link to the Kickstarter right now. Uh, if you would like to back it, if you'd like to be part of this, now's your chance. I don't, I don't think it's going to take them very long. I don't think they're planning a real, a real like super long development cycle on this because, I mean, obviously they're off to a really good start. Tell your friends about us. I just did. A little too cute. No such thing, Bacon Copter. No, you're wrong. <laughs> Every bit helps. Okay. See ya. Oh, never done around good stuff. This time next year. You've been up since Wednesday. Wow. It, oh, it's been up since what, Wednesday. Yay. Yeah, this is great. This is absolutely great. I love, I love cute, cutesy games. Y'all, y'all know about me and Kirby. And yeah, this is, it's adorable. It has really cute writing. It has really neat mechanics. Like just in that demo, just in like the 30 minutes we've been playing this. 30, 40 minutes. Like, I felt like there was so much to do with the brush. You could you could paint in the backgrounds. You could use it on plants to solve puzzles. We used it in a damn boss fight. We could paint ourselves. We made an awesome ass t-shirt. Yeah, this is great. This is great. I'm really super looking, super looking forward to this. So yeah. Well, cool. Thanks again to Vesti for pointing this out to me, making me aware of it. <coughs> So yeah, keep an eye on this one. Back it if you're so inclined. Uh, for sure, actually now. Yep, see ya. Alrighty. So, yeah, that was a very solid demo. That was fantastic. So let me change what we're playing because we're gonna switch over to redo. We're gonna get some tonal whiplash now. Now that we have been playing uh, something super cute and adorable, we're gonna play something really creepy. <coughs> Interestingly, not listed as a horror game. I was kind of expecting it to be. Um, but it isn't. So let me just change this to redo. It launched last Thursday, so it took eight days to get 150%. I mean, they absolutely deserve it. I mean, just, just from the appearance of it, I feel like it's... You know, it, it's got it's got a lot of visual style to trade on, but then you get to in the demo, and the demo is legit really cool. So yeah, I'm I'm very glad it's doing so well. Closer to 200 now. That's awesome. Well, let's let's send some love their way. You know, if if you're interested in picking it up, now's the time to back it. All right, redo. <coughs> just let just let all those good feels just kind of bleed away. So this, this came out, this came out this, this week or last week? It's been Twitter's Draw Dog for a long time. Okay. Draw Dog's such an inspired name, though. I mean, Chicory is definitely cuter. But yeah, there's something, there's something funny about Draw Dog. <clears throat> this is going to be another stream where you jerks make him play a game you absolutely hate. No, I am I am in full control tonight, Dirkus. I, I control the horizontal and the vertical. So uh, we just did Chicory. We're going to do Redo probably upwards of an hour, I think. And then um, we're going to do Kids, which is the newest game from the plug-and-play developers. I think a full playthrough, that's only like 20 minutes. And I've been, I've been meaning to check it out. And then we're going to end the night with some uh, classic indie horror. <coughs> But we'll talk about that when we get to it. 
Sonic Dreams was indeed a special place to start. Yeah, my our Hell Knight so far. We've only done two. We've only done two. But it's been the Demon Rush, the first three hours of the Demon Rush, Sonic Dreams Collections, and it was supposed to be Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, but that game was just too wretched. Lovingly tickled Sonic feet. Yeah, after popping his shoe off like a cork. All right, let's get into this. Sonic Dreams is so bad, I decided to stop watching. I don't blame you. I do not blame you at all. Am I still alive? It's cold out there and empty in here. The age of humanity has gone. There's only ashes. Day after day, my memories are fading into nothing. But somehow, I'm still alive. Could be the drugs. I've received a message today from an unknown source. Another human? Could it be possible? You sure this isn't still trickery? I ain't paint shit, am I? I have no control over this woman's hair color, and I don't see no dick butt on her shirt. I need to check it. Meet me at the top of the Solar Cathedral. This is what the message says. I need to try one last time. I need to go there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I refuse. I'm going this way. We are 100 out of 100. We're 10 of 10. Press up to interact with objects. An old desk with drawings and notes scattered all over it. Okay, so this glyph is save progress. Let me, you know what? I think it'd probably be smarter if I put myself in the top corner. Nice peaceful music. If I had my way, we'd be playing nice games like Subnaka, but we know we have to play the worst of the worst. Maybe you can convince people eventually. I'm gonna do below zero at some point. I don't know if I'm gonna do it while it's in early access or not, but I loved, I loved Subnautica too much to not do below zero. Is this actually a Metroidvania? I believe so. Oh, look at that. I, I think it may be Dark Souls inspired. We'll have to see. Um, I pretty much ruined Subnautica for myself by picking up during early access. I played it a good bit during early access. I think I might have put even... Interesting. I think I might have put as much as like 10 or 15 hours into it in early access, but I was very, ow. I was very careful not to burn myself out on it. I don't, I don't normally... Early access has never really been my thing. I prefer, I prefer to just get stuff when it's done so I can really dig into it. But there's been games, um, Dead Cells, Darkest Dungeon, Invisible Ink, uh, Subnautica, that they looked so good that I had to play them. And I just, I just made sure to really hold back. Drug cells, yeah. When the blue number above the enemy is, reaches uh, zero, they will get stunned. Interesting, okay. So they have hit points and like stun points. Oh. I think I like it over here. Poster says, feeling lonely? Buy a doll. I don't like this poster anymore. That is not what I was expecting. All right, that's the door. It stinks. We found Jay Sherman. Uh, what are you doing? Blorp. Kaboom. Uh, that looks like a button or something. Pages of a diary. Those biocinetics invaded the building. So I'll stay here and wait. Fuck, I'm so drowsy, so tired. I need to sleep. Presumably, we're going to get some kind of power or ability to move those big crates. Your access burns itself out much less when there's a good heaping of proc gen, also a bit less busy work. Yeah. Yeah, I I played a ton of Darkest Dungeon and a ton of Dead Cells before they got their full releases, and that definitely didn't burn me out on the full games. Um, Subnautica I had to be much more careful about. 
Stun enemies, take more damage, and drop health spheres. Oh, okay. They do. They take double damage. So that's good to know. Absol, what you fail to realize is anime is real now. Anime is, is as real as you want it to be. Press back to access inventory. Copy the message you received. Cool. Uh, start to access options. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to boost the audio in this a bit cuz it does seem a bit quiet. What is your weapon? Um, it might be like a crowbar or a pry bar or something. Yee. Ow. All right. It's a crutch. Oh, it's a crutch. Three hole puncher and a stick. So this is straight up a temple. Stop it. Okay. You can't just brute force those guys. Saving your progress does heal you, though. Bought a few games in early access. None have turned out too badly. The worst was probably Space Engineers, which didn't live up to expectations. They're still working on that, though, right? Like, it seems to be doing pretty well at the moment. Oh, hello. Ow. Oh my god, there's a ton of damage to me. You're currently at Gazebu Apartment Complex. Good now. I think the EA game I was surprised by being burned out on was Dicey Dungeon. The necessity of playing all the characters before unlocking the challenges. Ah. Uh, I gotcha. Uh, due to the recent attacks, some of the hallways will be blocked. So whatever disaster befell the world was apparent in its approach. To access the control room, use the maintenance ladder. Oh, he's, he stuns himself when he fires. Interesting. Okay. Haha. -ha. Let me go. Okay, got you. Yikes. Ah. Okay, so some of them recover from stun faster than others. Um, happy I skipped the A. Launch version is amazing. Start, start playing it. Work my way back into a suitably interesting challenge eventually. It's a little awkward because your attack scoots you forward. Uh, Age of Age of Wonders, Planet Fall, sucking up time and keeping me from getting past the in initial episodes and dicey. Secretly, a sequel to Final Station. I never, I never played the Final Station. It looked really good. That's one of those games I'm, I can't act. I'm not sure if I have it or not. <laughs> I might actually have it already. Don't let, don't let your window open. Some strange life forms are on loose on the streets. Be cautious. Yeah, I really like the atmosphere so far. It's it's melancholy and understated. Um, one of the games we're going to play in the near future, um, which I'd like to do a full playthrough of, is uh, Lone Survivor. I've never gotten terribly far in that game. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> but it... It has a similar atmosphere, but it gets so intense. Like, so incredibly intense when there are enemies around. Access to the streets. Yeah, I've, I have a very high opinion of Lone Survivor. I just haven't played all that much of it. Power through the more interesting modes in Dicey pretty quick. Winning the first episode for the first four characters effortlessly. I've heard it's really, ooh. I've heard it's really easy. Okay, he just stunned himself. Nice. Okay, cool. That's interesting. Okay, that's really interesting. You can actually let the enemies exhaust themselves before you attack. That's kind of cool. 
Also, I have no idea where we're going. I'm just kind of following paths. You're currently at the underground control center. There's a note under it that says, P.S. I forgot where I left my riot shield. If you find it, tell Charles. Six episodes of increasing difficulty for each character. I wonder. Yes, I'm a genius. This is less than ideal. Ooh. Yeah, the only thing that concerns me is that your melee attack pushes you forward. And there does seem to be contact damage on a lot of these enemies. Yeah, I heard about the secret bear mode. That sounds awesome. That sounds really, really cool. And a neat way to do that. Okay, so we're on the other, so that was the underground control center down there, but we're on the other side of it now. You see a strange figure trying to say something. Hell. Because we're all in hell now. This is hell, and we're there. Oh god, it's another one of those doll advertisements. It's just unnecessary. There's a thing up there, though, and I want it. No, I want it. I called it. I want it. Yeah. Hmm. Nani soda. I got a new weapon. Ooh. Press X to bind a weapon to a quick slot. A taser. It has low damage but can stun enemies easily. Uh, let's put that on X. Well, we gotta give that a try. Clearly, this thing heliocentric. <gasps> a person? A human? This is unusual. How did you survive? Anyway, you should not be here. This area is very dangerous. You'll probably just die. The Solar Cathedral? What do you plan to do there? There are only do- It's a robot. Want to get there, find a way up. Solar Cathedral is located at the highest part of the city. Me, I just like to sit here all day. That's all. They say different things? No, they say the same things. Man, I was... I was getting really excited for a second there. But is dull. That has a lot of hit points. I guess pixel art, but my brain's looking at the idle animation, thinking there's some bl small blackbird eater in her hair. <laughs> <coughs> Damn it, Drake! Now, now that you've said that, I can't not see that. When you run, it looks more like a like a Dragon Quest slime trying to absorb her. He oh, hello. Oh, oh, I I may have fucked myself. How about if we? Oh, that didn't do. Oh God. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Get some. Get it. Get it. Get it. Don't miss. Yes. Okay. Okay. We can do this. There we go. Okay. Nope. Stop that. I need you to super double plus not do that. No. Okay. Got him. Probably shouldn't just be running through here willy-nilly. Oh god. I'm, <coughs> I'm out of ammo. Okay, okay, those little blue orbs are ammo. So I'm at three of ten now. This thief uses enemy abilities. Oh Jesus. This one doesn't oh, I didn't mean to do that. I got so used to mashing X for everything. Good control so far. Very responsive. Okay, that was concerning. This is similarly concerning. Ow. Okay, I can't reach that. Holy cannoli. Oh, when this one's stunned, it just goes nuts. So you have to attack it when it's not stunned. 
And then get the hell out of there. This is not gonna go well. This is not gonna go well. I don't I don't have a good way to get back up either. Oh shit. I think I'm dead. Yep. <clears throat> Alright. So this was okay, this is before I got my gun. There we go. Should probably go a different way from there. Yeah. So I'm I'm not holding this against the game right now. I don't I have no idea where to go. Um, and I feel like I need to get, I need to get a grip on how the world is laid out and where I need to be. So I'm going to grab this gun and then instead of going right, I'm going to go down, I think. Because there's plenty of these doors and actually I might be able to hit that switch too. Um, yep, that's how that works. So now I can go back and hit all those switches. What is this? This elevator's, yeah, no kidding. All right, we probably need to come at that from above. It's an interesting looking area, like a village. It is at the top of the solar tower, vaguely up. Yeah, if, if I was going to fault anything about the game so far, it's that it doesn't really communicate where I should be going, which is fine. I'm fine with exploration games like this. Nice. Okay, so these gray ladders, you knock them down to make shortcuts. Oh, and we're back over here. Okay, we looped around. So now that I got the gun, I remember there was one of those switches back in this area. And presumably, yeah, I can use this to deal with these guys now. Um, I dimly remember going this way. Oh, we yeah, we went we went that way and then we went down. So we'll go up this time. Vaguely up. Okay, so there's a door. Okay, so there's the switch. There's one of those stabby boys. Okay. This is the other side. This was an early area when we were going down. This is the other side of that. So if I can get a hold of something that moves those box moves or destroys those boxes, that becomes a shortcut. What the hell are these things? That's probably not good. Not a whole lot of reach on that. Oh, it's afraid. There we go. Okay, cool. Much better. Yeah, come over here. It's cool. There we go. All right. I really like these initial, like your initial equipment. Like the melee attack is nice and meaty, and the taser, the taser actually gives you options in these fights, which is pretty cool. All right, so that's fried. Uh, before I go down, I'm gonna go up. Let's see if this guy has anything. Page of a diary. There's something in this fog that is making people sick. The science department is trying to find a cure, but it's probably too late. Maybe I'm just too worried. I'll take a nap and relax for now. So these people went to sleep and then did not get up again. Does dodge roll have iframes? I do not know. Uh, the game shares the visual feel and art style games like Failed State and Final Platform, just more detailed and modern. I do think it looks really good. I do really like the way this thing looks. The bear fix crashes your game if you fight a copycat and dicey touch. Oh no! That's tragic. What is it? Wait, what is this? You're currently at the control room. In case of emergency, use the electric switch to open doors. I just did. I just did. You're currently at Twilight Bridge. All right, so these signs are helpful, but it's still, oh my God. Uh, um, oh 
Okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> this is really cool, actually. So most of these things are like big, goopy amalgamations of machinery. Like that floating one there is basically just a bunch of tubes and pipes. And this thing over here is some, just some kind of ball. But then these more developed ones are like humanoid and they put on masks? The implications here are really interesting. And man, I love me some enemy designs with implications. You know? This isn't, you know, this shit isn't like giant spider. You know? These are really creative. Um, what was down here? Okay, so that's, that's the way down and around, it seems. And then this... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I don't need to be down there. Giant spider has a lot of implica implications. This place sounds weird. I ain't been here that one. Okay. I can't get up there. Yeah, I, re I really like this combat system so far. All right, so that's in the way. So we're gonna need another item or something for that. We're gonna fuck up arachnophobes. <laughs> Levels visuals seem to be really good. It's one of the creepier post-apocalypses I've seen in a game. It's pretty, I, I think what's important about it is that it's pretty understated. Like it's not, you know, it's, it's not like fire raining from the sky Everything is not, like, disintegrating around me. And these enemies, like, aren't super aggressive. Like, that guy just walked up to me and was going to do, like, a big energy burst. Like, that was it. Okay, that... Okay. Okay. These knife guys are super creepy. Do I... Do I... Do I really... Yeah. Okay. All right, that's less than ideal. I need you to. I need you to not. Ow. Oh, he's stunned. Damn it. Oh shit. No, wrong way. Wrong way, child. Okay. Other way. You have to remember what their what their um, max um, max stamina. I don't know what it. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't, know what, I don't know what exactly that blue number is supposed to be. Uh. Okay, tank it. Oh, he's stunned. He's got so much health, though. That's a problem. I'm gonna die. You know what? Let's get out of here. Let's not risk it. We need to find a save point. That is a big, scary scribble monster. Uh, let's see. I might be able to get some health from this guy. I don't run into him like an idiot. Okay, there we go. It's a tiny bit. Oh, yeah, I should have tested dodge roll. You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so we're back here. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't handle that very well, to be sure. All right, I need a save point. I think there was one down here-ish. Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna backtrack a bit further. Cause I know there's, as far as I know, no map. At least not. <coughs> there might be a map later. There definitely is not one right now. Okay, there's definitely iframes on dodge. You can dodge through stuff. So that's good to know. These creepy motherfuckers. All right. 
It's possible to make games like this work without a map. I mean, Dark Souls works without a map. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty spoopy. I think you might really dig a game called The Eternal Castle. I will look that up. Um... Ah, yes. I think there is a thingy here. Yep. Oh. The range on these is just shorter than I'm expecting. Not sure what about this game reminds me of it. Maybe it's just the atmosphere and pacing. I mean, if it's, if it's got atmosphere like this, I'm all for it. I, I love, I'm loving the atmosphere in this. What the? Oh, it's another one of those things. I don't really have a good way to ha handle those yet. One of these things is not like the other. You are not welcome here, human. Leave us alone, human. We are not your object anymore. It's probably how you tell someone to go fuck themselves in binary. The Eternal Castle looks CGA tastic. I love, I love that style. I like. <coughs> I'm like, I'm a big fan of low res games in general. Oh yes, shortcut yes. Score. Um, yeah, they're the dolls. They're, they're like the sex dolls, the companionship dolls. And that's why they fucking hate humans. It makes sense. I would hate humans too. Okay. Ah. I got a new weapon. What do? A rocket launcher. Fires tracking projectiles that deal great damage. I got a rocket launcher. Let's put that on B. So like... Okay, that used, that used three ammo. <coughs> okay. All right, now we have our solution to these enemies. Oh, this is sweet. This is so sweet. One message. Who leaves a message on a payphone? I'm waiting for you at the top of the solar cathedral. So this was beamed out to everywhere. That's interesting. Hey, just smack this random dude. Hey, I have a rocket launcher. <coughs> yeah, of of the various low res styles out there, the Game Boy aesthetic is my favorite. I love I love the look of the original Game Boy. I'm gonna fight that thing again. I only have one rocket. Oh, maybe not. This this might be full Dark Souls where enemies don't respawn until you hit a save point. Uh, what was this way? Oh yeah, this was leaves be human. Uh, I never rocket launcher. Ho ho ho! Hey, Zetsubo-san. Same ones that had this bizarre layer of a subway station. Um, let's see. Let's go back a bit further. That might have been the first door that I came across. Okay, this is the tutorial area. I don't think we need to go that far. Bite the bullet and fight. I didn't mean to do that. All right, we're gonna have to grab some ammo. Okay, so I'm gonna take this back. I'm gonna take this back to that high area we were going to. And that should that should let us get past those things without getting too blowed up. This is good, this is good. Yeah, I love the GBS, uh, the Game Boy aesthetic. GBA is, GBA is okay, but Game Boy. Original four color Game Boy is where it's at. And tomorrow night, in fact, we're gonna be playing the Game Boy uh, Mega Man 4 and 5, which should be a good time. Mega Man 4 is pretty traditional. Mega Man 5 is very, very different from everything else in the series. And it's possibly my favorite. So I am pretty excited to share that with y'all. 
The room before the save point is there. Uh, yeah, I went up there earlier. I went over the top and then back down. I think there was, um, I think there might be a healing item there. Or a max health item. Didn't get hit by that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay, this is this is the area I came around in. Hey, 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 knock that off. There we go. Pow. The most solar cathedralish place. I feel like sol solar cathedral is probably something that we're building towards ultimately, but we're not gonna get to anytime soon. Like the first bell in uh, Dark Souls. I don't, I don't mean to repeatedly invoke Dark Souls. It's just there's there's a fair number of parallels here. Um. All right. This one's fine. I just need to not panic and not trigger that other one. Kind of important. There we go. Okay. Got past it. Wasn't too bad. Uh. Oh, shit. Wow, that did a ton of damage. Holy cannoli. Did I go down here earlier? This is the area I got stuck and died. So this is not where I want to go. I want to go up, not down. There's an annual, there's an annual Game Boy Jam uh, that I covered one, like two years ago that has some really neat games in it. Um, I really wanted to cover this year's. If I, there we go, okay. Stabby boy might be a bit trickier. Nope, that worked out. That worked out, okay. And then I can probably just, whoop, nope. Okay, not super sure how the iframes work at the moment. Iframes seem a bit fiddly. No. Oh shit. Okay, I may have fucked this. Because red boy here is not going to be my friend. He's... Oh, shit! No, I dodged into him. Wrong button. Wrong button. Okay. We still got a rocket launcher. It's fine. This game also reminds me a bit of Rain World, in a way. Just the atmosphere and... I guess the progression... Back up to the big guy. Was he okay? He was up center, wasn't he? He was in a more this way or lead direction. I think I think he was up here, wasn't he? What was this? Control room, access maintenance ladder. Was it this way? That's that room. Ah. Do this. No, it wasn't it wasn't this way. Down and right. Okay, down and right. Oh, was it it was it through this door? Over here. It was down and right in the Ah, yes, here we go. Okay, thank you. Beware of dangerous fall! Stop that. Ha! Suck it. Okay. Boom. There we go. Okay. That guy's on the other side of that wall. Oh! Okay. Uh, oh shit. Okay. Alright. 
Much more favor. Much. Oh shit! Wrong way. I'm having a little. Oh, I'm having a bit of trouble with the facing in this game. Takes a lot to stun those dudes. And then you only get a tiny bit of health back. Nope! Shit. I think I escaped that, but man. Alright. Um. Uh oh. Okay. Alright, this is this is less than ideal. Close enough to hit him? I can't tell. I hope so. I'm out of ammo though. And he still is. Oh, he's stunned! He was stunned. Oof, okay. Let's go back. Let's go back to the wood area where I died. I'll give that a try, and then that's probably going to do it for this tonight, but I... The red. They're harder. Oh my god, if you keep dying, the game gets harder? <laughs> well, that's concerning. Dark Souls 2, two bad feels. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to need to figure out how exactly this mechanic works, but... You think I hit this thing with a rocket launcher? Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Man, right away they give you some really cool tools. Oh, I bet that's the right shield up there. All right, let's see what's, let's see what's this way, actually. All right, it's the low points that are all electrified. You do, do love Dark Souls too. I'm... I have very limited experience with Dark Souls series. I... The whole, like, Kingsfield, Demon's Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, the whole thing. I started with the original Dark Souls on PC. The Prepare to Die edition. And I loved it. I loved it enough to play through it twice. Um, I was super, super into it. I got Dark Souls 2 when it came out, and I got like maybe halfway into it. And it just, it wasn't, it wasn't really clicking with me the same way. Because the big draw of Dark Souls 1 was the way the world was laid out. And it just, Dark Souls 2 just didn't feel as interesting. He is stunned. So. Play three before two if you ever try again. I suppose I could do that. Another new weapon. Dang. Um, a riot shield. Protection against physical damage and projectiles. Yes, please. Oh, so the number tells you how much ammo it costs to use. So that's interesting that the riot shield actually costs ammo to use. Yeah, I am I am utterly enamored with the world in Dark Souls 1. Like I I adore it. I love everything about the way it's laid out. <laughs> there's so many there's so many vistas in it. So many locations that are just like like stuff from my dreams. Like I used to draw a lot when I was kid when I was a kid and it's it's kind of the sort of stuff that I would have drawn. way back when. Bloodborne's world is very... I want to play Bloodborne intensely. Like, I am absolutely... I mean, I played a little bit at a friend's house. I'm, I'm absolutely certain I would love it. Um, but I just haven't really had the chance. I don't really remember the save point very well. 
Sekiro's world is nearly as good as DS1. Hey, Monax. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna, when, when I free up the time, I'm gonna get back to Sekiro and get through that. Is this... Is this it? Yes, this was it. This was it. I, just, I think I just took the long way. Sekiro is fantastic. I might be a fanboy. Okay. Yeah, some of these some of these enemies are juiced up now. Edge Lord McEdge sit. <laughs> Alright, so down there. That thing. Okay. Okay, I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. As soon as it burns itself out again. There we go. Rocket launcher cures what ails ya. Looks like we gotta get further down to get back up, though. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no! Yep, you really gotta... You gotta plan your moves in this. Oh, that's not good. Whatever. <laughs> I needed that thing gone. Sekiro and Bloodborne were great. I do enjoy that style of game. It just it, you know, it, it takes much more of an investment than than most games do to get through those. Okay, so that's just the way back. Also, I don't know if this game has any secrets. I don't know if there's any secret passages in this or. Uh, oh. Ammo plus. Okay. More max ammo. This is a dead end though, unfortunately. Until I get whatever power it is you need to get past that, so. Um, good to know, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me get back to a save point and then we'll kick it over to kids. Soundtrack for this is really good too. It's doing, it's doing a lot of the heavy lifting for the uh, atmosphere. Okay, so you can't roll through those. But you can roll through enemies. This guy. Oh, he was juiced up from last time. Ah! Okay. Yeah. Okay, there's not much I can do about this right now. Probably could kill the big guy by rocking it while I was stunned. Okay, so I can get up there and get that item. I just gotta watch out for those assholes. Um, there we go. <laughs> Rocket launcher solves a lot of problems. There we go. Ooh! Whoa, check that shit out up there. Oh yeah, I need to try out the riot shield. I got another new weapon. An energy sword can reflect projectiles. That seems kind of huge. That seems like a big deal. Um, let's put that on B real quick and see what that's like. All right, um, I really wanna go save. I really wanna go save and then we'll test out, we'll test out how these things work. I should be able to just head down here. Yeah. Oh my God, that's, that's something's jaw up there. Wait, where was, where was the save? Was it over on this side? Oh, God. Okay, that, that was not ideal. 
I think yeah, I think it was over this side. Yeah, it was it was over here and down. So this it seems like the riot shield the riot shield and the lightsaber might be two different like projectile spam solutions. I totally got myself lost, yeah. I wonder if they are gonna put a map in this. Like if if, if there's a map item. Cause right now there's it looks like there's nine weapons and six inventory items, and I have one of the six inventory items. So if one of them's a mapping device, that'd be ideal. Okay. Okay, that didn't work. Do it again. Powerful. Okay. Very cool. Save point does refill ammo, yes. Thank goodness. All right, let's try riot shield. Okay, so it's, it's just stationary. And it's limited. Timing on lightsaber is kind of tricky because it's really slow to come out. But yeah. All right, guys. I think we've had a nice, effective look at redo. It's really good so far. I'm, I'm liking this a lot. So I will keep at this one. Um, yeah, these are all the controls. <coughs> yeah, I'll try to have a review of this one probably next month. I don't know how long it is, but I imagine it's gonna go on for a while. You're not totally won over on this one. Lightsaber seems more like it's a single shot counter, right? Shield the bullet spam. I think you're right. I think you are right. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll keep you guys informed how this one's going for me. Um, because yeah, it could it could fall apart. It could it could get overly frustrating later on. You never know. So, all right, uh, let's play kids real quick. This one this one should be pretty quick to get through. Um, don't really know much about it other than it's by the uh, developers of Plug and Play, which was really weird if you've ever played that. <coughs> And then after this, after this, we'll talk about what to do for uh, spooky games tonight. Um, and then programming note for everyone before I launch into this. Tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Pacific, we're doing uh, Mega Man 4 and 5 on the Game Boy. Should be really cool. Yeah, plug and play. It's, simil it's similar to this, at least in art style. I don't know about themes. Uh, Monday, more West of Loathing. We're going to try and advance the plot a bit. Boom, sticky our ways. Uh, do five seconds because I have D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, next Wednesday, we'll finish Canarium because apparently there's only like an hour, hour and a half left in that one. And then I might do some more Spooky Games Origin stuff. Again, we'll talk about it. I don't want to start anything new next week for folks that don't show up for the end of Canarium. Uh, <coughs> but we'll start something big the Wednesday after that. So, all right, kids. I have kids. See, they're fine. They're fine. It's like a little carnival ride. Oh, I got one. There's one. Oh, there we go. Okay. Looks like you can only keep them suspended for so long. Then nothing but pillows and cushions of the bomb. Absolutely. We'll be back. Bright as rain. Ship shape. Oh, you can spin them around. That's cool. That's interesting. 
Very soft spikes. And uh, cushiony snakes. Ooh. See? Fine. Totally fine. Everything is great. Uh, let's see. Chat, hi or hello. This is important. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hello. <laughs> This way. I suppose I did, really. He's about to suggest something like that happened, and then the game did it. I can't believe he said hi. Oh, back we go. This way. This way. No, that way. That's different. I can pull on it. Nope, oh, come here. Nope, come here. Whatever you are, you're coming with us. Oh, you like massage it through. Come on. Milking the cow. So that's what they call it these days. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay, you need to get behind them. There we go. This makes me feel weird. Good good weird or bad weird? <laughs> this is like Sonic Dreams all over again. See, totally fine. Let's get everybody up. Oh, they're scattering. Okay. That's cool. That's it. Okay, okay. Oh, they're doing it over and over and over again, I guess. No, this is, this is way more than last time. Hmm. Kids are durable, yeah. They bounce, as it turns out. So there's significantly more now. Everybody in. Whee! <laughs> Murdering. This way. No, that way. That way. No, this way. No, that way. Yes. No, this way. This way. Yes. No, that way. Agreed. Agreed. Yes. That way. Yes. No holdouts. Amazing. Now fight. Now holdouts. Get it? Ah, ah. I'm a good one. That's a good one. It's kind of cool how they readjust themselves. Neat little attention to detail. Also, the animation's really nice. There... Oh, I can stem the tide. Nope, 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 one go away from me. Come on, okay, okay, click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. good. Oh, I think I'm trying to get them all on one side. Plug and play was very similar to this. Just, you, you get a scene. That one was like with plugs and switches, and you had to figure out 
what it was you needed to do. problem this is my favorite part uh interesting uh-oh this is how you get indigestion. Uh, we're getting we're getting all backed up here. This is this is never gonna do. Come on, come on, come on, just massage it out. Uh oh. <laughs> you, you okay in there, chat? Everybody doing okay? <laughs> Social commentary on how the school system just shits people out with any regard to actually helping. It could be. That seems pretty on point. It's wordlessly disgusted. Oh, bloop. Bloop. Maybe you can do it really slow. I was sucking that one back in. And then you actually hold on to them for a bit. Is he, is he coming back? Uh, we can put it back. Can you actually stay up in there? Nope, not happening. The mod commander forget the last 10 minutes and the next 10. Your dark hole needs more fiber. You're going this way. Oh, you're not. <coughs> Excuse me. It's too much for me. Oh. Where's Waldo? That's pretty cool. I won't do it. I won't do it. You do it. No, you do it. No, you. 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 No, no, you. You. No, 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 you. you. Yes. You. All right. Oh, peer pressure. So there's two dark places. There's this one, which seems to be like underwater and like open, and then the digestive tract. Oh, hello. Catch somebody? Peer pressure is jumping in the vacuum of space. It's just like Event Horizon.
we are um, we are still getting to a movie night. I know I haven't said much about that lately. I've been really busy, and I'm still trying to figure out how to get that into our schedule. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed lately, we are at 294 followers. That is suspiciously close to 300, at which point I'm going to do another week of bonus streams. This time, instead of doing a, a marathon stream, I am going to do a primetime week. Oh, this is interesting. Where, in addition, the plan is, in addition to the existing streams that I do, um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday evenings, I'm also going to do streams Monday, Wednesday, Friday afternoons. Uh, part of that is to just do more streams for y'all. The other part of that is to kind of test and see what kind of audience I would have during the day. I'm not sure how soon it'll be after we hit 300, because I am super busy at work right now. I don't, I don't think my boss will let me take any time off. But once we hit 300, I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to work out a time that I can do this. And we're going to do it. And I'll come up, I'll come up with, some, with some special stuff to do during the daytime streams that aren't... Uh, that don't really overlap with the nighttime streams if you can't make it to them, so you won't really have to feel like you missed out on too much. <coughs> oh, I can just click and hold on them. In before Fortnite, yeah, that's not happening. I. I one of them is probably gonna be Mario Maker 2 because I still love Mario Maker 2 and I wish I could be doing Mario Maker 2 streams. Whoa, hello. Okay. All right, let's do this again. Let me start at the corner. You click and hold and drag the mouse over the crowd and they all prepare. So yeah, and we'll also talk about what, what would make good daytime streams, too. For those of you that'll be able to make it. Back to y'all. Oh! It's like they got jaws Super expert 500 gift subs every death. <laughs> <coughs> that would be expensive. All right, so where are we going? Where are we going, kids? Okay, we're not going up that way. Eat mud, nerd. <laughs> God's sake, bacon copter. Hey, look, it's everybody's favorite spot. It's really evocative, you know? Just, just an extremely evocative experience. What is this? What does this evoke for you all? Like, what is this? What, what is this trigger within within your heart of hearts? Where's the ring? <laughs> Oh, interesting. How about you go this way? And how about you go this way? And you go this way. And yeah, you can go that way. And then you go here. And you go that way. And then this guy goes over here. And you can go there. there. Yeah, good, 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 good. Everybody wins. This is a fetish game, isn't it? No. This this all means something. Plug and plug and play had some kind of meaning to it, even if it was really not particularly obvious. I really like it when I get to just wave him around like this. Oh, I power bombed him. 
That made everybody uncomfortable. Why this one in particular, though? Oh, interesting. This is cool. This is a really cool spectacle. Surprise! Juke ya. Mmm, juke. Me on Tinder. Oh. <laughs> I broke free. He's free. Back to the hole. Are you sure about this? Huh? How about we don't do the hole? Ugh. Seems to be a lot about peer pressure and bullying among, among children, which kind of makes the whole jumping a bit unpleasant. This is interesting. They broke away from the herd, but they came back to the hole. And I can't make them not get in the hole, so... In you go. Congratulations. Congratulations, Shinji. What happens if you don't do the whole crowd? Ah, uh, they do it anyway. Okay. So you just need to hit a majority of them. Ah, I'm so got him. Let's do like that and like that. That's pretty cool. Let's do an oh. This is pretty neat actually. Alright, we'll do the crowd. Actually we'll do the outside. Oh, that got them all. That's interesting. You don't have to click on everybody to make them all clap. If you get like a like a majority or maybe just a plurality, everyone else will clap too. So yeah, I think I think we're on to something with the, like peer pressure here. <clears throat> Got 15,000 meat. Damn, what you Well, no, actually don't tell me what you did because I I might be tempted to do it. No, that way. That way. Agreed. Yes. That way. Agreed. That way. Yes. Agreed. That way. No, this way. All right. That way. Ah. I crushed a dissenter. Ah, uh, look at the one look at the ones I missed. Ah, uh, they end up going too. This is interesting. Yeah, even if I don't click on everybody, the others start going too. What if I just stop clicking? <clears throat> the irony is lost on them. Lost bad is a bit right. Uh-oh, are you having stream troubles? So I have this new ritual now. Every night before I start up the stream, I reset my router, and it has kept me from having upload issues. Like, we've dropped 92 frames out of, like, 400,000 all night. <coughs> this reminds me of the time a couple of friends and I started a slow clap for a horrible band that was played by high school. Uh, too much for Twitch, yeah. That's true, that's true. I remember when we played Earth Atlantis. The stream couldn't handle that because it was 
it, it was 2D, but like the 2D was so incredibly detailed that like it just it couldn't handle all the action that was going on on the screen. All that hot, hot sprite work. Ah! Feed the hole! Man, they're really crushing it around it, too. Gungeon regular breaks on the pillars and the dragon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I bet dragon especially, because he literally fills the entire screen, screen with shots. Get in there. Oh, I think we're actually working. Oh, we are working our way through the crowd. That's everyone. Are they coming back? No, it's just the sound of them shuffling up. The hole doesn't like this. Imagine if we have to cram all these people through that digestive tract. <clears throat> oh my god, you can speed their fall up now. I'm like the terrible unseen force from a Junji Ito story. My pleasure. That was pretty interesting. I think that was pretty interesting. So now it lets you choose the different scenes if you want to replay any of them. Pretty cool. Neat little experience. I really like games like this. You know, this is not this is not the kind of experience you can get from like a you know Fallout or Assassin's Creed or something. You know, it's a very different feel from that. I know it certainly doesn't appeal to everybody, but it definitely appeals to me. Like I I really enjoy games like this. So. This is uh, Double Fine Presents, actually. <laughs> they translated it into 11 languages because, I mean, it's basically this that they had to translate. <laughs> All right. That was kids. Anyone who complains about art games should just be ignored anyways. True. Very true. Very, very true. Ironically, I think it crashed. Kids, what are you doing to me? Kids, get off my lawn. Yeah. Yeah, it had a small heart attack. I wonder if Double Fine Presents still going to continue now that Microsoft bought them. Oh, good question. Oh, God. Well, you know what? You know what? So it is that special time of evening we finished the three big titles that we were going to do for Indie Horror Night, or Indie Variety Night. Now, now we are going to return to Spooky Games Origins and revisit some of the games that I played six years ago for the original Spooky Games lineup. Um, we've got some options tonight. We've got some options. I can play... Let's see. Okay. Okay, here's what I'm going to offer you guys. I've got two top-down shooters, no, three. Three top-down shooters we can check out that range from middling to bad. I've got a couple platformers we can check out that aren't 
One is horror, one is horror adjacent. One is just kind of dumb. We have um, a really weird adventure game that I've never been able to get very far into. And, and, and we have Betrayer, which is a monochromatic open world first person game that I've never gotten more than a few hours into. Horror, horror adjacent, horrible. So yeah, four options, four options. We can do middling top-down shooters. We can do funky platformers. We can do weird adventure, or we can do this uh, first person game. <coughs> Cracker says Betrayer. I'm gonna go ahead and install it just in case that's where, where are the titles. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and start installing Betrayer. It's going to take like a minute. Okay, so um, the top-down shooters are Alien Breed 2, Burn Zombie Burn, and Shadowgrounds Survivor. Not the good Shadowgrounds, the sequel. Um, hey, I hope everyone had a good week. Got back from hell and met David Cock... The dead guy, and he asked me to help him out, but see his pig shit, he's totally dragging him. I said, well, nah. Do we go in full Dante? <laughs> That's true. Cragger does decide what I play. Titties. Is there also called breast? Um, okay, so yeah, top-down shooters: Alien Breed Two, Burn Zombie Burn, and where'd you go? Shadowground Survivor, the bad one. Uh, if we do platformers, that is Closure and Deadlight. If we do adventure game, that is 1953 KGB Unleashed. And then if we do the first person game, that's Betrayer. You made me check my spelling, you don't. <laughs> well played. Well played. 1953 KGB Unleashed sounds amazing. I, I was kind of hoping you guys would go for that because I have never been able to get anywhere in this game. It is so, it's such, okay, I tell you what. Let's start with that. We'll play it until you guys cannot take it anymore, which might be like 15 minutes. <laughs> Seriously. <coughs> and then we can reevaluate from there. You have to leave in like 30? Okay. All right. KGB it is. All right. I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause the Betrayer download. Uh, yep. Sit tight. We might get to you. We might not. Okay. Let me, this is probably, this can't, this can't be on Twitch. 1953. It is. There are two games on Twitch that start with 1953. 1953 KGB Unleashed and 1953 NATO versus Warsaw Pact. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to maybe turn this down. We'll, we'll see where we're at. Okay. I'm gonna need your help getting through this. Like very much so. This is this is gonna be some serious uh, audience participation here. Cause I barely know how to play this game. You can play with a gamepad? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Let me I, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna fix that. There we go, okay. I may have killed it by alt-tabbing. It might not be able to handle alt-tab. What the what? Yeah, I killed it. Okay, hang on, hang on, do over. Yeah, I, play, I played this for a grand total, total of 33 minutes. This is for the Nokia N cage. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. Now you guys will be able to see this thing. <laughs> In 1953, Rip Unleashed. So yeah, this is ostensibly a horror game. I never really got to the horror parts of it. 
Phantomery Interactive. I'm going to look them up after this and see if they ended up doing anything else. Oh, is this... Oh, this is ki this is killing the, the stream's frame rate. Let me see if I can do something about that. Um... I don't know if I can. This is funny. It's turning the stream into a slideshow. Um, can I? Yeah, I, I can't not full screen this. All right, let's let, let's see how this goes. Okay. Oh, oh, it's it's getting there. It's getting there. The KGB executed the frame rate for crimes against the state. Okay, it seem it seems to have to have balanced out. Soon it will work everywhere. photorealistic this is that really weird gross animation where they just take like a bunch of pictures of somebody and then like just kind of like do in-betweens where am I where am I seems I was unconscious the smell of burning I don't remember how I got here. Smell of burning. All right. Here are my tools and my passport. I've got to get out of here. All right. I don't remember what the plot of this game is. Um, we're stuck down in this place. It's a first-person point-and-click. So we have to find stuff to click on. So that's pretty obnoxious. Um, all right, that worked. Everything here is frozen. It looks like a liquid nitrogen leak occurred. Yeah, it's basically a room escape game. All right, I remember I need to... I think I need to do something about this. I think we can get the lights on somehow, if I remember correctly. Um, that took th oh, just 33 minutes last time. Let's see. I'm trying to remember if any of these do anything. On the bright side, the, the um, cursor lights up to tell you that you can interact with stuff. God, there really might not be anything in here. I thought there was. All right, never mind. Let's go out. Um, let's see. We made outcry. Ah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I think it took me like 10 minutes last time to figure this part out. That there was a panel underneath here. Yeah, that's not what we wanted. We need a specific voltage, maybe? Yeah, we're MK Ultra subjects. Okay, that wires, those wires go, I mean, basically just here. So 
They said everything was frozen over here. I think we have to get the lights, the power back on first. Not endurance test, yeah. Yeah, I apologize about the, the frame rate. It's pretty awful. There has to be something in here that explains like what voltage that needs to be set to. Rules for fire extinguishers. Radio engineering. Yeah, none of these do anything at all. I can't get any of these cabinets. Oh, rated voltage 18, duh. Okay. Oh, okay, and, and that's why. We, we need to flip these switches once we get to 18. So, we go back over here to the, to, okay, you have to go, you have to walk over here. You have to look down here, and we need to get to 18. Um, let's see. 12.5. How do we do that? I think it's two of the 0.5 ones and then seven. So seven, so you need to make 11, which is, two point five, eight point five, and seven. And then we go over here, and that didn't work. 18 volts, right? Did I forget some interim step? I love that I'm trying to escape from KGB hell, and y'all are like talking about air disasters. Was my math off on this? Nine, 11, that makes 18. What if it's, what if it's the, mm -hmm. Is it the inverse of that? You have 50 episodes on your DVR. No, can't click on anything else here. Nope. Stupid Soviet crap. What do you suppose I missed? Because it should be those. <coughs> yeah, I, I know it's running really badly. Oddly, oddly, our viewership is going up because I'm playing this game, even if it is running like garbage. Um, it's like the stream turned into mist.
Yeah, because 2.5 plus 8.5 plus 7 is 18. For sure. Rated voltage 18. Flip the switch, nothing happens. Is there something else I need to do over here first? <laughs> Cracker, thank you for gifting a sub to Euronymous. That is very kind of you, especially right now, Jesus, with how terrible everything is. Can I look at... no? This is it. This is literally all there is to interact with. This panel and that switch. So does it, okay, does it need to be less than 18? Is that it? <laughs> um, what if we did 17.5? I feel like I got the math right, but there's like, there's some other thing I have to do. No, it just takes you right here. Like there's some button or something that I'm missing. Or like some plug that's not plugged in. I can't see shit. The door is blocked. Ah, it's too dark in here. And I can't see what the problem is. What are you gonna do about it? The door is blocked. Ah, it's too dark in here. And I can't see what the problem is. So what are you gonna fucking do? What if I had what if I had to do that? What if I had to do that before making him do this thing? Shelf on the right has a blowtorch. This is the worst game you ever played on stream. I mean Plumbers don't wear ties set a new set a new standard for us, I think. You have the walkthrough. Shelf on the right. So I guess that would be back in here. Fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Okay, so now I have a blowtorch. How do I use my inventory? Oh, okay. Oh, that's gonna be trouble. Something was frozen, I remember. Where did this come from? Oh my God. Okay. Okay. So I, maybe that was it? Maybe it was just that? That was it. Okay. Thank you, guys. Jeezy crazy. All right. Now we can see. Now we can see. All right. What's up, Cornudo? You're just in time for some real garbage. Hate to tell ya. All right, well, I guess go through here. Push button. I guess not, okay. Um, what is this? Okay. Can I, can I angle grind this thing? Nope. Fuck. Come here. Circular saw. Circular saw. Looking around does not look right at all. There's a lot of things that don't look right at all in this. 
Yeah, it's got kind of this weird fisheye thing going on. All right, so now that I can actually see. <coughs> Radio engineering, number six, 1953. Holy sacred mother of God. I'm not reading all this. I am not reading all this. I think there might actually be a puzzle later on that has to do with this helpful hint. For the purpose of powering many KRU2 radio centers, a rectified 240 volt current is transmitted. The voltage received by radio centers divided in half. L1 and L2 light bulbs rated 110 voltage. We might want to remember that. The frame rate not unleashed, yeah. Playing this, playing this game has been murdering the frame rate. All right, I can't open that. I can't circular saw that. I don't know, man. I don't know why the frame rate is so terrible for this game. Electrical technician job description. Very exciting. But yeah, we are trapped in some kind of Soviet bunker in 1953. We have no idea why we're here. <coughs> and we have no idea how to get out. Fuck this game. <laughs> yeah, when I played this before, and I didn't have a walkthrough for this, I got I got out of this area. I got past the big door, and then I got stuck in the next area after this. This is the stuff you interact with is so random. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I see it. Over, over. Can anybody hear me? I need help here. Damn. Looks like it's not working. Safety instruction for power equipment maintenance. Uh, turn off all units. Check for the absence of voltage. Check the grounding. Disconnect the conductive parts. Oh my god. This game is basically teaching you how to be a like a Soviet repairman. I have, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I have a circle. I have a circular saw. I think there's a button missing. This is lit up like I need to use an inventory item on it. Obviously, I can't. And here we are. All right, so this is the area I can never get out of. Oh God, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry, I apologize. Okay. All right, so here. All right, so we have this door. Also, we left the, we left the circular saw behind. Holy shit, not a roguelike. Comrade Nikolayev, the management of the Research Institute has decided to temporarily reassign you from the current project to perform emergency work at a strategic underground facility of the Ministry of State Security. You'll receive your pass and all of your documents when you arrive. The equipment stopped working at 10 in the morning, and this can't wait. Today is an extremely important day, and we need everything ready by lunchtime. I trust you understand the importance of completing this task?
So, ghost visions things. All right, uh, let's see. Punch card, I got a punch card. Uh, invoice, Molotov Siberian Chemical Combine. USSR Ministry of State Security. And it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of stuff. <coughs> 31st of January, 1953. All right, so there's that. Um, sector head is locked. Looks like there was an exit here. They've changed the layout. I need to search for another way up. Five SPF. All right. Um, uh, information board. Look at this. Look at this. Like, why would you do this to your players? Plan for the research department's political and ideological work. The propagandist corner. National news. Global news. Attention. From February 2nd to June 19th, the radio broadcast of political review will be transmitted in the frequency range 568 to 568 476. That might actually be a clue, too. Bad PC. <laughs> <coughs> I, wonder, I wonder if it's a CPU priority thing, if that's what's doing it. Uh, there's a hatch here. I need a special key here. I need a special key here. Yeah. Um, okay, we might be able to get in here. Loading screen. It looks like everyone was evacuated and in a hurry. All right, so... Here's a cabinet. A strange closet. Work schedule. Cool. Um, all right, there's that. Illustrated jokes. Ivan Petrovich carefully locked his safe. He did not forget to lock the door, but he forgot to shut his mouth. The medicine is bitter, but it's essential for your health. Have you heard, Harry? They have opened an Academy of Sciences in North Korea. Interesting. How can I get there? I don't have enough money to buy medicine for my sick child. Then sell the healthy one. Yep, this is uh, side splitting. Gong this dang shit. Bane copters had enough. All right, sounds like y'all have had enough. Um, I might try to get through this one myself at another point, but I think it's too much, too much for the stream, so. I will save this, we'll go back. All right, we're out of here, quit the game. All right, let me see where I am on. Okay, I'm a, I'm a bit ahead of you guys now because the upload was so was so mangled. All right. Um, I don't really have time to start Betrayer tonight. We might do it next Friday. I don't. I don't think Betrayer is exciting enough to do a full stream of. Um, but. <coughs> but we'll see. We might. We might spend the last hour of next Friday's stream doing that. Okay. So. Uh. Let me see here. Use the walkthrough when you play. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to. Um, let's see. IBS unleashed. Let's see here. Boop. Boop. Can you all see this? Nope, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Display capture. There we go. These are options. We did K KGB Unleashed. 
I played Adventures of Shuggy last night. I don't think it would make for a very interesting stream. We can do Alien Breed 2 Assault, Adam Zombie Smasher, Burn Zombie Burn is a top-down garbage shooter. Closure, Deadlight. Uh, I do have Ghostmaster. I don't want to get into it tonight, though. Uh, same with Huntsman. We might actually be able to get somewhere in that. Uh, Scary Girl, Shadowground Survivor. Anything sound appealing to y'all? I'm open to suggestion. By the way, by the way, by the way, I had a shadow president. Uh, <coughs> I had a request. Apparently mentioning the path on Macklin Cells in your career. I reviewed it. I reviewed it for my first uh, Spooky Games, and I fucking hated it. If you guys ever want to laugh, look up my uh, review of it on Steam. So yeah, if, if any of these sound interesting, closure. That's a pretty good choice. <coughs> Closure is a pretty interesting game. Um, yeah. What was I thinking? As I'm on my mind. There's a couple. Okay, so here. Yeah, there's a couple ones I don't have installed right now because I want to do full playthroughs of those. Afterfall. Uh, Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I don't know if we're going to do a full playthrough of that, but I want to at least save some more time for it. I'm not playing Armed Joe. Pick something from this list, you dick. Uh, the two Amnesias we're going to do a full play. We're going to do full playthroughs of because I've never finished either one of them. Um, I have no mouth and I'm a scream. I want to do a full playthrough. Lone Survivor and then Nosferatu. We're going to we're going to give it a good try one night. But yeah, this is what I got right now. So. All right, let's load up Closure. I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. <clears throat> Closure's pretty neat. And we only got like, we got like 20 minutes left in the stream tonight anyway. Oh, I should have changed what we're playing. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do Dead Light another night. Hang on. game sounding like this. But apparently it does. Hang on, let me turn it down. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, Evil Pumpkin is a hidden object game. You're hoping it'd be like a crab battle game? Alright, let's see. Yeah, closure's on here, good. Okay. Um, let me see here. Man, apparently all these old games had cloud saves. That's weird. They might have updated at some point. Okay, so here's the deal with closure. Um, since it's not gonna let me start from the tutorial, I guess. Yeah, it's not letting me return to Hub World either. So enclosure, closure is a platformer where only the stuff in the light exists. So if you <laughs> just like not really likes jokes, <laughs> got him. Okay. So I think we made it back to the hub. So there's three worlds, 24 levels each. Let me, let me into the fucking place. There we go. There we go. Let me get reacclimated to this. And apparently you turn into different shapes for different levels. Like, you take on different forms. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember any of this. 
Yeah, I didn't finish it either. Oh! That was interesting. And I just killed myself. <clears throat> Let's do that again, because that was cool. I'm gonna go through here. It takes me here for some reason. His game has a really interesting gimmick. As you can see. I find that funny about 15 years. I think they updated the, they, they must have updated this one a couple times cuz I think I played it like twice before. And the first time it didn't have much of a plot. out of the water. I need the water to exist, like down here, so I can jump up. Oh, oh, I think I know what to, I think I know what I need to do. This game has a really cool style to it. That's it, that's what I need to do. So this way, the exit exists, and both platforms exist, but that middle, that middle wall does not exist anymore. That's how it works. Okay, this is solid. Ow. Maybe I can just ride up the side of this? Yeah, there we go. And I can walk across the top. So this is a lit crate. <coughs> All right, that gap actually exists. There we go. Now I got a key. Because this game an official rating of neat. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And you know, it was one of the it was one of the original like old school puzzle platformers on Steam. It's been around for a long time. I think I might have needed those. Crate is lit as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I needed those to hold down this button. So, I'll just leave this here, and vacate. Alright, so... Ah, this is what we do. Okay. We do it a little bit at a time. I don't know, 
I don't remember why I didn't finish this one. It might have... There, there are a couple games that I've played and I've really gotten into and then I just wasn't really in the mood at the time to finish them. Alright, so now we have a problem. That just goes off into darkness. So I'm going to take this thing. Now we have a ceiling. And now I can see the exit. See, that, that's the thing, Hieronymus. Sometimes I feel really weird going back and, like... Oh, there's a neat thing we can do here, actually. I can get up here, and I can adjust this light. Yeah, look, at look, I found something. So this is what this room actually looks like. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I needed to do that because you can't push the block past this point. But yeah, um, I sometimes feel weird going back and reviewing like really old games or games that I thought everybody heard about. But you know, it's 2019. There are a ton of people on Steam that have just come to Steam in the last couple of years. I mean, it's entirely possible there are people following my curation page on Steam that have never heard of Amnesia. You know? So there is, whoops, <laughs> there is, there's definitely worth in, like, reviewing everything. Even old stuff, even stuff that I assume everyone has heard of. Oh, shit. Okay, so I think I can get up here. Yeah, and then I can adjust this. Okay, so that made a path over there. So I just push this block back over here to connect these up and then get across. I think that little fluttery thing might have been something. The thing about early puzzle platforms reminded me of and yet it moves. No, that, yeah, decent idea, absolutely wretched execution. I hate that game. I think it's, I think it's one of the 13 games on my website I've rated as awful. I straight abhor that game. Oh, interesting. I can't put I can't put the light bulb down here. I can put it down here, but then what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Also, I really like the art style in this game. It's very cool. Oh shit! <laughs> There's no light under that light. that one and there's that one okay so now we can see yeah that was a big reason why I wanted to update all my old reviews from like 2014 2015 because there's absolutely gonna be some games that I covered that people just don't know of anymore okay this is interesting you see there's a wall here. So if I move this over here, I can jump. Move this back a tiny bit. And then I can maybe get on top of it. Yeah, I can get on this part and jump across here. Pull this out. Yeah. Oh, I need to bring, I need to bring these over though. That's gonna be awkward. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, if I take that out, drop it on the floor here, I, mean, I can't make that jump. Hmm, okay. See, so yeah, if you put it in here, it transfers over there. All right, that jump I can make. And I can actually drop this here to make this a little bit more manageable, maybe? Maybe, nope. 
All right, Cornuda, thanks for coming out, buddy. Remember, tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Pacific, we're doing Mega Man 4 and 5 on the Game Boy. Um, even if you're not the biggest Mega Man fan, definitely show up for Mega Man 5. It is different. Okay. Good to see you, not a roguelike, as always. Yeah, we're only, we're only going to be running for another 5 or 10 minutes anyway, so. Ah! Or I might be stopping right here if I can't, if I can't make this puzzle work. This might be why I quit out of this game. It's a little finicky with its mechanics. You have to get like the spacing on these things just right. Jump that. Oh, I don't need the other one. I can just take this one. That was interesting. Also, now I'm very curious about that light way up there. If that's something you can manipulate. Alright, so... <coughs> Play just long enough so the viewers have closure. Oh, I killed myself. Okay. So, I think what we want to do is adjust this light there I think that's it I think that's what we want to do and then jump down here transfer it over there so now the exit exists and then I can readjust this light hopefully not like that like that. Get off the edge here and jump off. Yeah, really neat concept for a game. Really quite clever. You check Steam to wishlist this and you found out you own it. <laughs> I bet. This has been in a lot of bundles. Okay, so this this kind of this kind of sconce duplicates them. <laughs> What's down here, I wonder? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay. Ah, I see, okay. I can't put it there. Oh, that'll work. Okay. Going to buy a game and finding out you own it. That's always a classic. Um, okay, so put this down. Alright, if I do that, if I do that, I'm going to lose the key, though. So maybe, maybe put it here. Put it here. That's not going to work. Because as soon as I move the orb away from the key, it's going to vanish. Um... <laughs> Cute. There's a bit of natural light over where the key was. The issue is if I leave it there, well then I can't get out. So this this pillar is exactly where it needs to be. I can't drop it here. I did see about the Domina uh, DLC. Looks pretty cool. Definitely looks pretty cool. Yep, there goes the key. Oh, okay, so I can drop, okay. So I can just straight drop down there. So actually, let's do that. And let's do that. I think I need, actually, actually, hang on. I think I need to hit this. Okay, yeah, if I do that, all right, if I do that, then the center part is lit.
Doink, 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 doink. Okay. So then I can drop this down here. Flip that over there. Drop this down here. Ah, okay. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah, okay, okay, now we're cooking. Teleport that there, and then we can walk across here. Yeah, they better, they better add more music. I can't actually see. <laughs> fortunately, fortunately, you can unlock doors that aren't actually there. That's, that's a plus. Okay, I'm gonna do this level, and then I think we're gonna call it a night. I'm gonna try to work up a review of Adventures of Shuggy for tomorrow, as this week's uh, Spooky Games Origin re-review. Yeah, Dominus soundtrack is fucking incredible. Very true. I guess, like that? Yeah, this will make platforms to climb across. Since you can't just drop the orbs straight there. All right, Opsil, thanks for coming out tonight, buddy. It's good to see you. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow night for Mega Man night. Mega night. And now I guess we drag all these up here. <coughs> and put them, like, beside these. It's almost got like an old like MTV music video aesthetic to it, like one of those old like super grungy 90s animated videos. I always really like those. I'm sure they'll forgive you, Hiramas. And we did it. How many, how many levels have I gone through? Oh, I actually got further than I had before. So I got through 12. Okay, so the next time I start up, I can start from 13. I can start from 14. Cool, okay, progress. Progress was made. <coughs> cool beans. All right, that was closure. That was closure for the evening. All right, gang. Excuse me. Well, thank you so much for coming out tonight and hanging out for these. We played some really cool stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, what's your name? What are you called? Chicory. I'm really looking forward to Chicory. I really love the way that game looks and plays, so. <coughs> Said it should be in early access for about a year. That's, yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, Redo, I've really liked Redo so far. I'll keep you guys appraised of how that one's going. Kids was cool. Kids was very cool. Um, reviews for all of these are going to come in September, because next week I got to do Open Sorcery and West of Loathing, which are this month's two Reader's Choice reviews. <laughs> and I haven't even started open sorcery yet. I probably should start it tonight. Uh, but I'll play that this weekend. And I'll probably have some up for that on Wednesday. And then I'll do the West of Loathing review on Friday. Um, yeah, 1953 KGB Unleashed was just as bad as I remembered. Closure's really cool. I feel kind of bad I didn't play more of that uh, before. Yeah, those old, those old puzzle platformers are pretty fun. I mean, I'm going to review uh, Adventures of Shuggy tomorrow and talk about how much I like that game. So, Kickstarter game was really good. Really, really good. Definitely go back and check out the VOD of that uh, when you get the chance. It was like the first 40 minutes or so of the stream. Uh, very robust demo. Really shows off a lot of cool stuff that they want to do with the game and has a lot of promise. Already. And it's just cute. It's just intensely cute. The kind of cute that I, I just go nuts for. So... All right, so yeah, 
Uh, tomorrow night, 10 p.m., Mega Man Night. When, uh, Monday, more West of Loathing, advancing the plot. Wednesday, we'll finish Canarium, and then we'll play something good from this list. Um, that might be... I don't know if we're going to full play anything. I don't know if we're going to... We're not going to start a full playthrough. But... We might do Deadlight. We might do... We might do... Yeah, I might go ahead and do Betrayer. How to Survive. Yeah. We'll, we'll do some fun stuff on Wednesday. And then uh, stay tuned to Discord to find out what we're doing next Friday, too. So, All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming out tonight, as always. I really appreciate it. Re appreciate you coming, chatting with me, and telling me about air disasters and <laughs> everything else. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, I will see you all tomorrow night. Until then, as always, y'all take care. Good night, everybody. <laughs>